So, whenever I come on stage, I like to feel confident and relaxed because it makes me feel good and then it makes you feel inspired even before I start speaking. So, just give me a minute. Because if you don't, things are going to go wrong. 
But never forget to stand up again and try again. Let's take Batman for example. He lost his friends when he was like really young. Instead of him letting that get him down, he dedicated his time to protecting his city. He doesn't have any supernatural powers, but his will and his determination made him someone superhero. As Iron Man once said, superheroes are made by the part they choose, not the powers they were graced with. Okay, now, you can't have superheroes without what? Villains. <gasps> villains! Thank you, villains! Exactly! <laughs> you can't have so quick, I was like, whoa! You can't have superheroes without villains. I mean, like, you can't have Thor without Loki, you can't have Captain America without Red Skull, and you definitely can't have Batman without Joker. And that's an important lesson to learn in life. No matter how much good you're trying to achieve, there will be people who will try and stop you from doing the right thing. What do you do? Like sit down and look? No! Stand up and do something that will make you exceptionally proud of yourself and maybe like get the key to the city or like a street named after you. Whatever it is. But you always need to keep fighting and keep staying strong. It doesn't matter if you're the kind of person that doesn't like to be appreciated because you don't like being in the spotlight. That's fine. You can get like a mask or like a code name or something. But if you're the kind of person that loves to be appreciated, appreciate yourself first. Because if you don't, people might not appreciate you. And it's not because they're evil, it's just because they don't understand how much they achieved with you until they try to achieve it without you. So always appreciate yourself first and never think that you didn't do enough because you did so much and you, you should be proud of yourself. Okay, next question. What have we learned from movies about haunted houses and horror movies? Don't go in. Don't go in alone. Thank you. <laughs> don't go in alone. I mean, don't be a lone ranger. It's like Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, like um, Batman and Robin. Tributes, not tribute. I'm sure you need to know what's coming, but Katniss Everdeen is a superhero. That's the point. No one is special to save the world alone. Sometimes you just can't, and it's fine. You just need to find those people who think the same way you do and who are willing to make a change like you are. Teamwork is really essential. If you don't believe me, I have the Avengers group. Last time I checked, it wasn't about Thor's amazing apps. No! Thor's amazing like some of his skills, not apps. I <laughs> 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 couldn't resist that one. <laughs> it wasn't about Thor's amazing like some of his skills. It was about their team. One time in life, you're going to meet that villain that's stronger than you can handle. Don't worry, call your backup crew like your homies and stand <laughs> together and fight. Last but not the least, if there's something we've learned from all superhero movies, is that there's superheroes everywhere. I mean, look beside you. There's superheroes right there. <laughs> we are awesome with or without our Batmobiles or our amazing capes or like our own metallic bodysuits or like spiders sitting out of our hands. <laughs> Having said all that, 
As bonafide superhero in my audience, you define the quote that says, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Somewhere out there you're someone superhero. You have that skill, or at least you're yet to acquire it. It doesn't matter. You just need to remember that whenever you're needed, you need to be there. You need to seize that opportunity and make a positive impact in someone's life. Don't say I'll come back and do it next time because you probably won't get the opportunity. And never change who you are inside or outside. Because who you are is amazing and what you do best, no one else can do it as good as, as, good as you do out there. So, having said all that, now is the chance. Please go to that on sale aisle of this is Halloween section in the store because who doesn't like cheap things? <laughs> Select the tightest tights and the most colorful tights. Pick up the most friendly mask and probably wear the most widespread cape. Because my fellow superheroes, it is time to suit up. Our world needs us. Thank you.